Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk. This episode's topic may be simple, but it is very important for a basic understanding of how freight railroads work. So, let's take a look at all the different types of freight trains. Freight trains are very important for shipping all sorts of cargo by land. In fact, they are the most efficient way to ship goods across the country, so it is neat to have a basic understanding of how they work and all the different types of freight trains. One thing I want to mention before we get started is that there are different ways to break down types of freight trains, and from what I've seen, there really is no official way to do this. So, I have chosen to break them down in a way that makes the most sense to me. Another thing to mention is that for this episode, we will be focusing on the major freight railroads, or Class 1s as they are called. With that said, let's dive right in. You probably know that there are many different types of freight trains, but what are they and what purpose do they serve? First, let's break it down into two main categories. The first category is locals, and the second we'll call mainline freights. I'll get to that in a minute. So first, what is a local? A local, or local freight, is a train that picks up and drops off freight cars at many industries along the railway line. Some locals run to one particular industry, but many serve several along a stretch of railroad. Locals can run either on a main railway line that many other trains use, or they can use their own branch line. Once a local is done picking up and dropping off cars, it will return to a railroad yard where the remaining freight cars will be put onto other freight trains and sent out across the country. This brings me to the second category, mainline freights. Mainline freights run over the main railway line between major railway yards. They typically do not stop much to pick up or drop off cars, and the distances they travel are usually much longer than those traveled by locals. There are three main types of mainline freights. The first is what is called a mixed freight or manifest. They are called mixed freights because they carry many different types of goods and all sorts of different types of freight cars. Of the mainline freights, these are usually the only ones that set out and pick up cars along the way. They carry many different things, but most of what they carry is raw materials such as wood, metal coils, and plastic to name a few. Manifests used to be one of the most common types of freight trains, but they are less frequent than they used to be because they have slowly been replaced by more modern means of shipping goods, which we will get to in a minute. So manifests are trains with many different types of freight cars, so the second type of mainline freight is one that typically has only one type of freight car. These are called unit trains because they are one solid unit of the same type of commodity or car. There are several different types of unit trains, but the four most common are grain, coal, vehicle, and tank trains. Grain trains carry grain in cars called covered hoppers. These cars are loaded from little round hatches in the top of the car and unloaded by bigger square hatches on the bottom of the car. Coal trains carry coal in open-top hopper cars. These cars are very similar to covered hoppers with the exception that they do not have a cover on top. They are also loaded through the top and unloaded using hatches on the bottom of the car. Vehicle trains carry cars and trucks. The freight cars used for this are called auto racks. Auto racks have multiple levels. Cars and trucks are loaded at the ends of the auto rack using special ramps. The fourth type of unit train, called a tank train, carries liquid-based products in cylindrical cars called tank cars. Tank cars can carry anything from oil to paint products and even corn syrup. Finally, the third type of mainline freight is called an intermodal train. The name intermodal comes from the fact that these types of cars can easily be changed from one mode of transportation to another. These trains carry just about anything you find in the store. Clothes, food, electronics, toys, you name it. The containers are designed to be carried either by ship, truck, or train. A container that arrives on a ship in the morning can easily be loaded onto a train headed across the country relatively quickly. This has become a very efficient means of shipping goods, particularly those that are imported from or exported to other countries. 
Intermodal freights are by far the most common type of trains running today, and these are the trains that have largely replaced manifest freights due to the fact that the goods do not have to be taken out of the shipping containers when changing between train, boat, and truck. Intermodal trains first started as truck trailers that were loaded onto flat cars starting in the 1960s. They were given the nickname of piggyback trains. Since then, intermodal trains have evolved, and most of these trains are now run with standard shipping containers. They are often called double stacks because they are usually stacked two containers high. On occasion, you will see some other cars added onto intermodal trains, such as high-priority refrigerated box cars carrying produce, or sometimes auto rafts. Well, that just about does it for this episode. As always, if you have suggestions for a future episode of Train Talk, or you like this one, please leave a comment below. Also, be sure to let me know if you enjoyed the video by liking it. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.